Hello vlogger Addins, it's Monday and I have two things on the agenda today and not a lot of camera battery with which to talk about them. So I'm going to get right into it with crushing Kyle's dreams, or at least raining on his proof. So in his last video, Kyle said that Yertle the Turtle is one of his favorite books. And that it was about turtles. Kyle, Yertle the Turtle can very well be your favorite book, but it's not about turtles. It's about Hitler. This is a political cartoonist during World War II, and the stuff after his political cartoons were a bit more politically charged. And Yertle the Turtle is about one turtle being grander than all the other turtles. So that. Second thing on the agenda is why I have no faith in the political system. So in fourth grade, I ran for student government. And we all had to make speeches, and there were me and three other people trying to become student government representatives for our class. There was me, which was one of us. The second was Like Guy, his name will be explained soon. Hair Guy, whose name is just given because that's one of the memories I have of him, his hair. And then Other Guy, who I don't even remember who it was, I just know that they were there and they were the competition. So we all gave our speeches and Like Guy, earning his name, said like about 47 times. I counted, don't remember the exact number, but it was a lot for like a minute and a half long speech. And Hair Guy was pretty good. Mine was freaking awesome, and other guys was forgettable at best, let's say. So, we then did the time-honored tradition of put your head down and raise your hand to vote. And I, respecting the political tradition, peaked. So, I saw the results as they broke. About half the class voted for Hair Guy, about half the class voted for me. But then when we all raised our heads, that teacher, she said Hair Guy and Light Guy won. After the election, I asked her, how many votes did I lose by? And she kind of nervously responded, I can't tell you that information. I then proceeded to tell the entire class the election was faked. So if you ever become a teacher doing a student government election, don't lie about the results because then you're going to get complained about on the internet in a video. Okay? Also, in fifth grade, I did get elected to be a representative, and then I became student government president. How do you like me now, fourth grade teacher? How do you like me now? Ashlyn, I'll see you tomorrow.